Coach, have you gotten over uh, the excitement of the end of that game yet? Sorry? Have you gotten over the excitement of the end of that game yet on Saturday? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I just don't understand the question. So we repeat again. Just the excitement of the end of the game. Have, uh, you guys, yeah. have you guys been able to move past it yet? Yeah, so we just, we just did a, a meeting and I was talking about this uh, at the end of the game because uh, we are moving forward in a good way, you know, in terms of, uh, in terms of spirit, in terms of mindset. So I'm happy that the, the players are able to, uh, to, uh, to find a way to score three goals because we scored three goals, it was upside, but in a, uh, like this, it was short. But uh, yeah, I'm happy and uh, obviously the, the goal of, uh, of uh, Mr. Lucas was, uh, was unbelievable. So happy for the, for, the, for the guys. In in all seriousness, when you have a game that ends in that kind of dramatic fashion, I think you can either use that momentum to, to kind of carry over into the week and into the next game, or I've seen teams in the past kind of get caught up on that. How do you make sure the team is able to, to move forward and use that in the right way? I'm going to be boring, but stay on the task. So again, for me, this is a key element. And uh, okay, we are happy. Uh, they did a good job for that. Now we have to move forward. And uh, this is a new story against uh, New York City. So the idea is to do the same: is to be uh, to have a good performance uh, in New York to uh, maximize our chance to win. So we'll see. We'll see. So this week yeah, we started uh, really well. The, the, the week of training. Today we have a. Uh, Important session in terms of uh, the intensity and the, the in terms of mindset and also physically that we want to, uh, to see. So yeah, we focus on, on, on the next uh, next show. Yeah, I know you have said in the past that you want to play the same way, home or away. But do you have to tweak things road wise, knowing that the other team may play differently at home versus on the road, or or are there any adjustments that you make? specifically for going on the road or is it just the opponent and the, the, the venue no. does not matter? No, because uh, the I'm going to give you an example the, against uh, Chicago. In fact, the game will dictate everything. So the, the, the mindset is the same. So we start the game 0-0. We are not winning. We are not losing. It's 0-0. So let's play our game and we'll see. And uh, against uh, Chicago, um, we started one way offensively, and uh, around sorry two minutes we changed the shape offensively because uh, we saw something different, and the players they were able to adjust. Half time we adjusted also a few things uh, defensively because uh, the story of the game was clear that we needed to change something, and after that we changed it, and the guy did it well. So uh, it's all about how we gonna uh, answer uh, a problem that we're gonna face. This is the way I see it. So against New York City, we have a plan, but uh, they know that um, for me, the most important thing is uh, the structure is going to be here. 99% of the players I know what to do, no problem with that. But for me, like I told you, the 1% is the most important because it's all about the decision making in a moment. And I like my player, I want my player to be flexible tactically, to be able to, or to figure out the answer by themselves or the staff, we have to help them to figure out the answer. And for me, that's why I was really pleased. Yes, we, we won against Chicago, but I was really pleased with uh, the, the, the tactical flexibility that they had. And for me, this is the most important, offensively and defensively. We, we, we started the front foot against Chicago, uh, almost of the game, but at the end of the game, we were a little bit long because they, they were playing more long balls. So the idea is uh, to, again, to control this momentum. If we have to defend with a low block, we have to do it. And, uh, but within the block, we stay the same. Try to have the front foot mentality. But uh, it's, uh, you have to respect that. Sometimes we have to defend, 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 no problem. But when you have a chance to move up, we do it. How does playing at Yankee Stadium and kind of the confines there, you, you mentioned problems of team faces. Yeah. This pitch is actually a, a different pitch than what guys are used to. How does that kind of impact how you set up this week? So I think that every player, no, no, that's not true. Few players haven't played, I think, in this pitch. So first of all, this is a mythic uh, pitch. I love it. 
but after that in terms of uh, football, yeah, it's difficult to play over there because it's a narrow pitch and uh, I hope that he will not train because when he rains, this is uh, terrible. But again, this is uh, Chicago was not an easy pitch also to play. And there is going to be for both teams. Uh, New York City, it's a team that who likes to play, but they have to play also in a pitch that is not easy for them. So again, this is the situation. We're going to have to face it and, um, and we know that. So we have to adjust. You guys are at the, the midpoint of the regular season. You've been on a pretty good run lately, getting some pretty good results. In general, do you like where you sit at, at the midpoint? Uh, I'm seeing that we have um, we are on the right path. Um, I don't know how many points that we have. I don't know what position that that we are. Uh, I know that we have uh, seven or eight wins. Seven or eight. I have to double check that. Ah, you have to know that one. Yeah, I'm still catching up. <laughs> no, it's eight, if I'm not mistaken. So, so the objective is to try to reach uh, twelve or, or thirteen wins. This is the way I see it. So, for the moment, we we. The position in terms of uh, where we are uh, uh, in terms of uh, this objective is uh, good. I like the way we uh, are able to bounce back in difficult moments. So the process is on its way. And uh, also we had the uh, difficulties and uh, the players that were able to, uh, to, uh, to improve. And for me, yes, the outcome, but also the the performance for me uh, has been uh, good when we uh, won, but also when we lost because it was uh, a tool for us to be better and to have this kind of three wins in a row that we had uh, the, the last three games. So for me, it's important to see that. This is probably something you've talked with other, other people with over the years, and I just haven't had a chance to ask you this, but some of the like national media outlets, like ESPN and MLS's website even have made you like the most exciting team to watch, the most enjoyable team to watch, at, at least to this point of the season. Is, are things like that, the way that you're playing and, and playing a style that is attractive, is that important to you or is it just about getting the result? Uh, I cannot dissociate because everything is connected. Because for me, the way I want my team on the pitch is uh, I want them to be brave. I want them to be brave without the ball and with the ball. And automatically, it's going to provoke the consequence of the game's going to be attractive or entertained. I don't know. I'm not a producer of a movie. I am just a coach. But uh, yes, it's important to, 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 to play the way we play because I believe that this is the best way for us to, to win. I'm not doing that because I want to please the fans. Uh, I'm doing that because I believe on that and, uh, and uh, it's a way of playing that it can allow us to win on our way and also it can allow us to be better player but also a better person because I like to use a lot of situation in the game that I do the correlation with the life, the lifestyle. And, and for me, I'm gonna lie also if I'm not saying that I'm not happy that uh, everybody is, is able to see the way we play. Yes, I'm happy with that because uh, again, this is the way I want to play. But because for me, it's, it's uh, efficient. And uh, that's why we play like that. I'm not saying that I respect all the style of play. And I'm not saying that my style of play is better than anybody. This is the way I, I like to see football. And there is a fact also for me and my staff that if we play like that, in terms of uh, repeat the action at the high intensity, in terms of uh, try to be proactive with the ball, try to put that on the opposition, and try to avoid to concede a lot of chances, this is the way we have to play uh, to get that. So for me, it's clear, and, uh, and obviously, uh, 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 if I can. If the fans and the, the analysts and all the reporters are happy with that, good. But at the same time, it put a lot of pressure also uh, for my players because I have to convince them that we are not here to play a fancy football. We are here to play our game. And if the consequence is fancy, it's because you 
are proactive or because you try things or because you are brave on the ball. That's why the consequence is this kind of uh, uh, situation like uh, entertainment and so on that I'm confident but humble all the time. So I know that everything can go fast, but uh, yeah, I'm aware of that, but good for everyone. Uh, you guys announced the international call-ups yesterday, I think. Lucas, I think, has gone this week, and then Aiden could be gone for, for several games, um, Aloy as well. But those two specifically have obviously been key for, for what you guys have done. How confident are you in, in the depth behind them to, to fill in when guys like that miss games? Listen, when I, I saw uh, and we saw uh, Max came in at the last moment, he did a good job. Uh, we saw uh, Mati the last game, he, he came in and he, he scored a goal. And good spirit. Uh, uh, Jason, when he came in, he did good, a good job. Isaiah, I can, I can name a lot of players. So again, the, when we made the team, we knew that it will happen. So we are ready for that. And the idea is uh, uh, they have to step up in terms of a player that they're going to play with. But for me, this is not a, an issue. This is a, the normal life as uh, for the for the MLS, you know, in terms of a lot of the games and like this, and uh, I have no problem with that, and uh, I will see uh, how they're going to do. I asked you last week about the possibility of Messi joining MLS. Ah, and thank you. Said, you. Yeah, <laughs> you said, <laughs> well done. You said, ask me next week if mm -hmm. it happens. So, what are your thoughts on, on him joining MLS? First of all, I'm, I'm happy to, to see uh, Messi. Uh, in MLS because uh, the fact that uh, he decided to come here is because he saw something in MLS that uh, is going, uh, the level is going better and this is really interesting. I was in Qatar, the semi-final when they played uh, against the uh, Netherlands. And um, the pass that he made, I was in diagonal. And uh, Nobody saw this pass. When he made this pass, the crowd, it was a silence. And when they score, obviously it was loud. But for me, this is Messi. Messi is uh, the typical player that I love, not like, but that I love, because in terms of decision-making in the moment, for me, this is the best. He's able to dribble. 10 players to score if his team needs that. He's able to play the one touch because he, he can see that one player is free. He's able to manipulate the opposition to give a gift for his player. And uh, it's beautiful to watch, simple as that. So for me, he's not in my team, but uh, and do whatever you want. <laughs> Simple as that. But no, but in a serious note, like I told you, I, I'm, I'm really happy for, 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 and I'm serious when I'm saying what I said about uh, Messi, because for me, this is a, voilà, it's, a, it's a pleasure to watch him uh, as, a, as a coach, but also as a trainer. Uh, I, I used a lot of uh, uh, clips to show my players what does it mean for me to manipulate the opposition and to play regarding the opposition? Do you have time on the ball? What do you do? If you don't have time on the ball, what do you do? And for me, it was the, the best player to show that sometimes you have more time than you think. Because sometimes we want to rush, to rush, to rush, but it's so good to disguise the opposition and to play in, in, in opposite way. So there is a lot of, we, we can talk about a lot about Messi, but my point is uh, good for the league, good for everyone. It's going to be also a good pressure in a good way for MLS because all the eyes are going to be in MLS and uh, they're going to see all the stadium, they're going to see the way, uh, everything. And they're going to judge everything. So for me, I think that this is a really good step to move forward knowing that uh, the World Cup is going to come but also to see that uh, the level in MLS and also the, all the facilities and also the stadium. 
because sometimes the, the not sometimes but a lot of time people in Europe they don't know what do we do here actually we have a, a, a coach here come from uh, he's coming from France and does is a professional license to be a, a coach and uh, he has to spend one week uh, in a, in a club he decided to come in a Columbus he said that we had one of the best facilities and stadium in France. He said it. So because they don't know, they don't know. So the fact when I when I tell that to my friends and my colleagues, they are like, yeah, okay, okay. So when they come, they see. So again, it's gonna be good for everyone to see that we are moving forward and we are good. And it's all about time. In Europe, football is 100 years in the past. It takes time, and step by step, now the level is good. There's a lot of good players. The players are younger. The the, the tactical flexibility is really interesting, and uh, a lot of uh, agent scouts they like to come here to uh, to buy players. So and the club also. So for me, it means that we are on the right path. And the fact that Messi is going to come is going to be uh, really interesting to see. Uh, uh, how the visibility that we're gonna have uh, in the world. So this is perfect.